Hi everyone, welcome to Gab TV News. My name is Ashton Acosta Parsa. I'm coach, big win for you guys today. Can you tell us uh, what you're feeling and how proud you are of the team? Um, first off, I'm feeling great. Uh, we were looking for a big win uh, to add to our resume for the, the playoffs. Right, that's what we're, we're playing for right now. You know, and beating a ranked team is a really big uh, step in that direction. So we're, I'm very excited. I'm so proud of these guys. Defense is pretty damn good, um, but we get in the habit of coughing up the ball to the other team, and now they're getting layups, easy layups, and things like that, and we're scattered all over the place because we're sprinting back. Um, and I talked to these guys like, hey, let's see what this team looks like when they're playing most of the game against our half-court defense. Also, what does our offense look like when we're getting shots up and not just handing the, the ball the ball over? And I think we answered those questions. Man, it's a big win. You know, uh, going up against the ranked team, we uh, we lost kind of bad to them at their house, you know. But I felt like uh, over the time, over those weeks that we had, we definitely changed uh, our perspective on games and how we go about it. You know, I, I felt like we brought a lot more intensity and been in a little bit of a slump, but I felt like I got out of that today. Um, it, it felt really good getting back out there, just uh, contributing to the team throughout the whole game, you know, not going quiet. And it, felt, it felt really good. You know, we've come off a, a lot of strong performances against a lot of very good teams, but we just haven't been able to kind of get that final, like finish it off, you know, we've, we've been losing the last couple games and, you know, we, this kind of game against a team like MPC who've played with the better teams and also, you know, hanging tight with them, like it just, it just means a lot to the guys because, you know, tough loss against San Jose City, tough loss against Cabrillo. It's like, we just needed this one, you know? We come out, we give it our all every single night. And, uh, you know, in the end, it's, it's basketball. It happens. You know, sometimes shots are going to fall. Sometimes shots aren't going to fall. But I know every night that we go out there, every single one of my teammates is coming out there and we're giving it 100%. It's a tough loss today, but um, can you tell us some of the struggles that may have ended up leading up to the loss? Yes, absolutely. I think it's been a, a great season so far. We're just coming off a win at Cabrillo. The challenge is we only have five healthy women right now. So coming off of a hard, tough win at Cabrillo, where each of them played the whole game, it's tough to recover and get back up for another game on Friday, so. It's harder to get up a good shot if you're tired, your legs are dead, um, and in practice you can't scrimmage against each other because there's only five players, so there's just a lot of like little things, you know, we show up every day and we continue to put in the work and we continue to keep a good attitude about it. Uh, it does get difficult and we do get it down on ourselves, but at the end of the day, we all come out together. With having a minimum amount of players, um, shots is a big thing. Um, it, takes less it takes less energy on the court. Um, so we work on shots a lot, shooting. And yeah, our conditioning is a really big thing and it's getting way better. After the season over, um, off season, I'm trying to just better myself, trying to put what I can do and my all into next season, knowing how tough it was this season. Um, just work, 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 put the effort that I can and better my teammates in general. Their spirit um, definitely shows each time that they play. And I think that the schools and the community see that and know that we're here and we're available and we're trying to grow this program. So we're doing our best to go out to each of the schools in the area and just let them know that they have opportunity here to play basketball. With the passing of Susan Dodd, can you tell us like how emotional you guys were and that did that play any role in tonight's game? Definitely, I, I, I mean, our guys every day see uh, the rewards of her being part of the Gavlin fam family. Uh, I was fortunate enough to get to meet her um, at various games. She gave me gifts, like didn't even know me, but was just happy that I had was able to join the Ram family. It was really sad to hear that she went. And so we talked to our guys about just appreciating the, the moment that you have. Um, you, you just never know when something's gonna be take, just, just taken away from, from you. And so we wanted to make sure that we honored her memory because she loved basketball, obviously she loved basketball. We wanted to make sure that we honored her memory by playing as hard as we could. No matter what the, the score, no matter what type of shots, we're making them or we're missing them, we just wanted to play hard to honor her memory. Just to be able to come into this gym tonight and to see the scoreboards and the nice thing in the middle of the court, that is all contributions of Susan Dodd and coaching women. I think it's important that they see a good role model um, and what better than Susan Dodd.